People have been asking me for an update on my white Bounty Hunter custom boots for a while now and I just didn't have time as I was focusing on graduating college. Um, but here is a, my update video finally. So here are my white Bounty Hunters. It's uh, Chrome XL in both black and brown. Um, and then I have the half sole. So overall wearing, they've worn really nicely. These are right now the most comfortable pair of boots I own. They're wonderful. Uh, I photographed a wedding while wearing them, so that was really nice. Uh, they were very comfortable because I had a, I was basically on my feet for about 12 hours. So that was nice wearing them then. And they paired well with a pair of dress pants. Um, so after owning them for maybe somewhere around five months, one of the boots started to develop a squeak where there was the half slip. As you can see now, there is no half slip. This is just the standard heel. Um, I kind of like the half slip because I have high arches and that increases the arch support. Um, whereas just getting your heel um, quarter inch higher sometimes can make the heel look a little blocky. A half slip, in my opinion, kind of smooth that out. Um, so the half slip started to develop a squeak down by uh, the ball of the foot. So I sent it back to Baker's um, and they they resold the boots. So I paid for shipping and then they resold the boots for free. Um, so these are the second pair of soles I've had on the boots. You can see there is somewhere. If I, in the future when these boots need a resole, I'm not going to get this. Uh, half sole. I find the rubber rubber to be a little soft and it wears a little quicker uh, than I would prefer. I'm probably going to get um, one of those soles that's the same thickness. The rubber is the same thickness and it runs through the heel of the boot which breaks the beautiful leather. Um, breaks into two parts but it's a more durable option in my opinion. The So I have what they call the red liners on these boots. Uh, Chrome XL is a little nicer to have lined in my opinion. Um, it's not really a red, it's more like a tan color. You can see the sole. Um, one complaint I do have is the you have that little footbed in there you can see it's a dark brown color. Uh, towards the bottom that has come separated and it's starting to peel back a little bit. I'm probably going to just take these to the local cobbler and have them re-glue that. Not a huge issue, as I've heard, it's mostly for aesthetics rather than necessary, this, uh, that insole, but it's just something that's a little bothersome. Another thing that kind of annoyed me is when I got these boots back from Baker's, they had a new uh, false tongue, but it wasn't a Chrome XL false tongue, it was the um, standard, if you were to get a smoke jumper boot, it was the false tongue for that. So it... I mean, the leather color matches pretty well, but it's a uh, heavier duty leather, and then it did cause um, just a little bit of marking. Nothing like too major, but some marking and discolorization uh, here on the toe, or it's brown. Um, besides that, these boots are very lovely. Uh, they're super comfortable. They're heavy. The laces, this is not the first set of laces that I've had. Um, but yeah, I, I really like these boots. They've held up well. Um, this is the second sole on them. I'll have them resold again in the future with a different sole. Um, and then in the very distant future down the road, I'll probably have them uh, rebuilt. And when I do have them rebuilt, I might just have it be an all black boot. Uh, what I use to edge my sole is this I just picked up from a local cobbler. Um, works really well. It's a little darker than the original edge dressing that came with the boot. Um, I know one of the comments was asking what an edge dressing is. It's just this. It's a brown dye that you can just you just put on the the edge of the boot. Um, so you can also get this in black if you want a black edge and whatnot. Um, if I were to get another boot, I'd probably just have it left natural, and then I could always edge it brown if I wanted to do that. What I use, um, this is what I used to use on the boots. This is just the Baker brand uh, shoe care. 
works pretty good. It's like a wax. It's really very similar to um, this heavy duty LP. I just picked up a container of this when I got a new pair of boots. And uh, I'll just be using this in the future because I have it. Overall, after having these boots for three years, I would say that they wall an investment up front. They're a boot that's going to last many years. Um, but that also comes with good care. So you can see I have the um, shoe trees in them. I don't use these boots heavy duty. Um, for heavy duty boots, I have uh, many other pair of boots that I can thrash around. But I don't really uh, thrash these at all. I know a lot of people want to compare them against the Alden Indie boot. So here is a Alden Indie boot. Um, I got I picked these up on eBay for about 280. So good price. Um, this is the one that has the lug sole. And here's the thing is. This lug sole is a much harder sole than uh, the sole on this boot, and I this wears much, 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 much longer than the white sole does because it's a harder material. Comparing these boots side by side, um, the Alden Indie boot fits more like a shoe, while the Smoke Jumper, or I guess the Bounty Hunter, um, is more of an actual boot. It has much better arch support for someone with me like high arches this is a very important thing to have um, I, I do think the indie boots a little more versatile with what you can wear or how you can wear it so smaller toe profile again this has the uh, Baker's shoe wax on it so you can see they both take um, a, it kinda gives it like a slight shiny texture uh, this leather with the Alden Indie boot is the easiest to scuff leather that I've ever had in my life, but it's also the easiest to brush out. To brush it out, I just have a horsehair brush. Um, that I really like this. Works better than some of the other brushes I had before. But if you just like look at it wrong, I'm not going to actually like scuff it. You can see I did a little bit, but then with taking the brush there, like you've already brushed it out. So it scuffs easy, easy to brush out. <clears throat> if you want a heavier duty boot, like when I'm thrashing, I have a pair of um, just Oslo hiking boots. I've had these for quite a while. As you can see, a little beat up, soles starting to wear a little thin. Um, these boots are pretty nice, small toe box though, so my feet are a little cramped. Um, these are the boots I wear a lot when I'm working as a photojournalist. Uh, I did get a newer pair of boots that are much more comfortable that I'm working to break in. Um, these are NYX, the NYX Lace the Toe. As you can see, this is a big boot when you compare it to the, uh, to the smoke jumper there is quite a difference like the difference is much more so than I would have expected because this is a, a six inch boot but this 10 inch boot just feels so so much bigger um, you can see here I have a little bit of the heavy duty LP um, that didn't fully soak in I like I chose this NYX uh, hot shot over the white smoke jumper because it has a like a rough out toe and heel which is really nice you can see instead of scuffing you just have kind of like this texture right here um, also once you put the open knobs on it it makes the you put the open knobs on it brushed out and the toe looks basically brand new again I've only had these for about a month um, they've been uh, they've been pretty terrible to break in. The whites didn't have too much of a break in process. I uh, attribute that mostly to the um, the type of leather. This being the Chrome XL leather versus the 
just heavier duty um, leather of the NYX boots. Um, but overall I really like it. You can see this is a heavier duty boot. Uh, this is a boot that I plan on using as a photojournalist in the future. It's a boot I can just kind of like thrash and not worry about. But it has wonderful, wonderful arch support, which is something that's very important to me. Um, just with high arches and standing all day, my legs kill me if I don't have good arch support. So that's this. You can see I have false tongue. This is the lace -to toe version, not the standard version. I really like the lace -to toe of the NYX because I feel that it it really yeah, I'll show the other boot um, even though they're the same. Um, the lace to toe is like a good compromise. It gives you a little bit more support or not support but it gives you a little more flexibility with wearing heavier socks or lighter socks um, because you can tighten it up down. Uh, the lace toe I also think is aesthetically pleasing in the NYX boots because it doesn't extend too far down. It's a good compromise. Um, I guess one thing I want to say about this, these NYX boots is they killed my ankles when I began to wear them or wear them. They were just like dig into the edge of my ankles. As far as size and differences, these two boots do fit differently. Um, I traced my foot, sent my foot tracing into whites or into bakers that have this boot built. And this is a 10D as marked. Um, let's see if I can get more light on there. Basically it's, uh, it's marked 10D. 413. So what that means is 413 means that the boot was built in April of 2013. 10D obviously it's a size 10D width. I called Baker's. This is just a stock boot. This is a 9.5D. They said size down, half size. Um, this boot is a 9.5D has a wider heel than the 10D of the whites. So the NYX boot is a wider boot. I I need to wear this sock or I need to wear this boot with a sock and a liner which isn't necessarily a bad thing um, but the heel just is a little wider um, so that sock and liner is just pretty necessary to have. Um, so comparing these two boots side by side I have my whites as when I need to dress your boot, if I'm photographing kind of a classier or more formal occasion. Um, but at the same time, these nicks with a pair of just trousers of some kind actually looks, they still look pretty good. Um, but they're not like a formal boot that I necessarily wear to a wedding. The sole does kind of grab a lot of stuff. You can just see I have grass here that gets stuck, um, but that's to be expected with a deeper lug sole like this. Overall, I'm very pleased with both the whites and the nicks. Um, the Alden I got for about half price from what they sell for. I do like the boots, um, however there is very little arch support relative to either the whites or the nicks um, and I just can't wear them all day like I can the other two boots. You can see with profile um, each boot's very similar. The Aldens are a 5 inch while the whites are a 6 inch and once again the Aldens wear more like a shoe would and the whites feel more like a boot do. I hope this answers uh, the questions you guys had with the update and such. Um, overall they've been wearing well. Laces last uh, so long that you have to replace them. These are just leather laces from Baker. Uh, I did get a new pair of leather laces. I ordered an additional set of leather laces when I got these NYX and I don't know if it was the NYX laces that sucked or if it was the Baker laces that sucked because they're both in the whites box 
but one of the pair of laces they sent me were just garbage laces so that's a little frustrating um, because I'm going to have to get reorder another pair of laces um, which I guess to wrap it up if you have any questions just comment below and I'll do my best to get back to them uh, I apologize for the late video but it was just due to time constraints with work and school